This is Transformations Day 2. Yesterday, we were talking about transformations of quadratics, where we reflect across the X, we stretch, we compress, H goes side to side, K goes up and down with that transformation. Today, we're still doing transformations of quadratics. The difference is we're going to have multiple transformations in one function. But we got this. So let's break it down in pieces. Yesterday, we have A. A is the number in front of the X squared or X minus whatever number you have. So I'm going to color code this thing so we can break it down in parts. So this negative will do something. This 3 will do something. This 1 will do something else. And you're like, how do I know? Well, we're always referring back to this form right here from yesterday. Okay? So, start with that negative. That negative says, so we know that this number right there in front of the x squared is a. a indicates reflection across the x-axis if it's negative. Vertical stretch or compression. So, this negative right here is A, so it reflects over the x-axis. And I'm going to show you in the calculator when we're done with all of this. 3 is also A, and yesterday we talked about how when A is greater than 1, it's going to be a vertical stretch. So for the blue right there, it's a vertical stretch. by a factor of 3. And the last one is this one right here. Remember from yesterday, this minus belongs to the formula. So that means this one is shifting right one unit, not left. You're like, how do you know? Well, you can put this in and see what it looks like. Go to y equals. I'm going to have to fix this. Hang on. And you can choose to do the parent function on there or not. I'm just going to fix the window here. So you were expecting the parent function to be just a smiley face going through the origin right there. So reflection over, over the x. You can see that the parabola is right there reflected over the x-axis. You can see the vertex went right one unit right there. So right one unit. And you can tell that it got a little bit skinnier with that vertical stretch. So when you stretch in the morning, you think about, mm, you stretch, you get skinny. So it got vertical stretch by a factor of three right there. So for number two, we're going to kind of go through the same thinking process right there. So this number in front, we're talking about A. And then here we have this right there. That's H. And then I'm going to do K right there. Remember A is what tells you reflection or not, vertical stretch or vertical compress. H goes side to side, K up and down. So for the blue, that was a vertical compression. By a factor of half. Again, when A is between zero greater than zero and less than one, it's a compression. Because when you think about a balloon, you compress the balloon, it gets wide and it goes out on the sides. This is, this minus is from the formula. That means that four is making the parabola shift right four units. And then K, Right there in orange, that goes up and down. 
since k is positive, it goes up. So up two units. And that's all there is to it. You can always, I'm just going to do it one more time and then the others we won't. So 1 over 2, x minus 4, plus 2. So there's no reflection on this one. This is still going to be a smiley face, a little bit wider than you would expect your parabola to be. There you go. So compression by a factor of half. It moved right. So the vertex is right here. It moved right four units and up two, exactly how we said it was going to do. One more. So this is A. And this is K. So A, because A is greater than 1, it's vertical stretch by 5 and vertical shift up 1. You can just do up 1. You don't have to write the whole shebang. All right. Now, the next two. They're a little icky because we're not doing that to the parent function. We're doing this to a different function that has been transformed already. But we got this. So this is H. This is K. When you go up four units, we're talking about K. When we go left two units, we're talking about H. All right. So H was already negative 2. Wait a minute. It says plus 2 right there. Well, remember that this minus is from the formula. So if I have a plus 2 right there, that means it was negative 2 because two negatives together make a positive. Okay? So watch out for that. And if you're not listening, you're missing out. Okay. You have to go left to units. So you have to take away 2 from whatever H you had before. K is negative 1. It's going to go up 4 units. So you add 4. Here you have negative 4. And here you have 3. Okay, so this is your new H. This is your new K. Now you just go back and you replace that for that equation. So x minus is from the formula. I'm copying this from yesterday's notes. This minus is from the formula. Minus h is negative 4. So two negatives make a positive. And then k is 3. So plus. Three. You're welcome to plug this in the calculator and see what really happens. If it didn't go up four, if it didn't go left two, change this. You can put this in Y1, this in Y2. Well, I'm just going to do it. X plus two. And then my answer right there, X plus four. Okay, so. This is from the question, and then it said, move up four and left two. It went up from here. This is the vertex. So it went up four. One, two, three, four, and then left two. One, two, right there. So it did what we were expecting it to do. All right? So there's no excuse for you not to get these questions right. You can plug it in the calculator and check to see what you did and to see if you did it right. One more. This one does not have H. See, like you don't have anything in parentheses right there. H is the number in parentheses, but you don't have that. So you can't just say, oh, uh, no, well, you don't have H. That means H is zero. So H was 0, and K is 3. 
right there. I need to move right four. And I need to move up two. Again, side to side is H. Up and down is K. Zero plus four, three plus two. All right, put it back. So Y equals H now is four. So X minus four squared. This minus is from the formula again. And then plus five. Please, please, please remember to put that square right there. It's a quadratic function, so you have to have that square. Bye.